Stand by. Hang on. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Here we go. Ah, y'all know what that little light right there is, that airbag light. Well, I just repaired it. It was on. It was on. And when you turn the key on, on this Crown Vic, what I was getting was the airbag light would, uh, you know, illuminate for the bulb check. Then it would flash once, wait, and flash eight times. Well, from what I found, this code 18, that's airbag will tell you what's wrong with it. Airbag system will automatically tell you what's wrong with it on its startup when you turn the key on before you start the vehicle. And it'll repeat it, I believe it's twice, and then it pauses and it starts over again. But, or no, it repeats it twice and then it comes on solid. I take that back. But anyway, I should have videoed it doing it. But anyway, I'm gonna show you what the problem, what code 18 is. Code 18 is this part right here, this. This is that light right there, passenger side airbag light. Um, any, trust me, it says passenger side airbag off is what it says. And it, what it does is it senses the weight in the seat, whether the seat belt's buckled and whatnot and all that good crap. Basically, if you got a, ch a child seat or a child sitting over here, it cuts the, cuts it off. And um, But anyway, that's side's point. If you've got a code 18, go to your Ford dealer and buy that. That will fix a code 18 in a Crown Vic on an airbag system. That will fix it. And that's what it's called. It's called a Jules. Don't ask me, but there's the part number. Um, that's the new part number. The old part number is that. That is the old part number. Same dang part. It's superseded to that number. But anyway, that's it. Genuine Ford part all fixed. And here's where I found this one at. Right there. So, you know, tells you that they keep it in Greensboro, North Carolina, and Friendship stocks this thing. Of course, the police department up here would probably be why, but as like I said, it's a common problem on these. Too bad, I've got a real good panel, except for two screw holes. I've got a crappy panel over here. It's got some holes and crap in it, but I've got a new one, so, or another one, so. We'll get this and figure it out. And get that turned off, that's from thanks to the screw holes in the gas tank. I've got to reset it, I've just been too lazy to do it. I know what it is, the evaporative emissions, and I could really care less. We'll fix it, though.